Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props, and in today's video, we are going to be putting the visor on our Mando Viking helmet. Again, this helmet is from Villainous Prop Shop. Links below if you wanna pick up one of these helmets for yourself. And of course, if you wanna know where I got the visor or anything that I used in this build, check out the links in the description below, or head over to my website, 3dprintedprops.com, where you can pick up a free Red Hood helmet, and or you could just head over to the projects area and get a list of everything over there. Let's get going, let's get behind the fake wall and get this visor on. Okay, so it is visor time. I picked this visor up over on Amazon. I'm clamping down the helmet and I'm gonna put a piece of, I uh, taped it on 11 by 17 uh, paper. Uh, I think it's actually a piece of construction paper and I'm using my fingernail to sort of trace around the uh, the shape of the area that we need the visor. Uh, it was a little difficult because I bite my fingernails down to the skin, but I managed to have, you know, something left to make this with. It's a little hard to see, so I'm gonna go ahead and just tilt the paper so that the light catches it a certain way. And you can see there is our shape. Now, I was gonna cut it out just like this, but I could barely see it. So I made sure I went ahead and took a Sharpie and drew this all out to make sure it fit. Now, you're gonna have to tweak this because this is the outside, remember the inside could be have a little bit different shape, but I wanted to give myself some extra cushion, so I went around it to make sure uh, it would fit. And it did not, it was huge. <laughs> I cut way, way too much, but that's great. You always have more so you, can, you can't add it. Well, I guess technically you could have tape. But then I've managed to land on a good shape here. It fit in there really well. I taped it in uh, and I was quite pleased with it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of here. It's funny, you can see the color um, tests that I used on the inside there for the, for the brass color. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out of the actual visor material. And I uh, used a pencil to just trace this thing out and this is where you might see a little bit of a, a boo-boo here. Now, the visor material isn't long enough uh, to actually fit this style of helmet. Maybe some Mando helmets that, that are like the standard Mandalorian helmet or Boba Fett helmet, a piece of visor like this, I think it fits exactly correctly. But um, maybe because of the shape of this, it doesn't. But we're going to fix that later. So now we just cut this out and... You know, the stuff's pretty thick, but a standard pair of scissors will take it down pretty, pretty well. You just want to, of course, be careful that you stay on your lines. Uh, you went through all that to make those templates. Make sure you follow them. Now, I took a little bit of that space up there because it's covered by the helmet. You won't see it. And it's actually snapped in there to the point where I don't know if I'd actually have even needed to put anything there. But I actually do use some Velcro to make it work. Now... Here's where I made uh, that little mistake there. The visor doesn't fit. I guess technically it's not a mistake. Uh, that is just the style of this helmet. So I mark it and I decide I'm going to do something with this. I don't like how it abruptly ends like that. So I use a Dremel to cut a little crescent in it. And I want to sort of mirror the shape of maybe the top of the helmet or the cheek areas. And I think it turned out pretty well. You'll see in the end. Now here is a mistake. You can see I put the Velcro on before I took that material off. And then when I took the material off, I was like, oh, it's too shiny. I don't like it. Um, and now we're actually going back and seeing how I did it as a mistake, where I put the Velcro on before I put the material. But I didn't want to reshoot it. So there we go. The material is off, and I am snapping this into place and pushing down on the Velcro. And... This thing's not coming out of there. I, I can peel it off with the Velcro. I can I can take it on and off. I can switch out another visor if I want to at some point. But I was still thinking, what am I going to do here? Because it's way, way too shiny. So I weathered it. I used the uh, Tamiya or Tamiya uh, dry rubs, and I'm rubbing the uh, rubbing the different colors on here. Now, in retrospect, I actually just thought of this. I could have probably hit it all with some... Uh, steel wool, some fine steel wool to knock it back. But hey, I didn't think of it at the time. And actually, I'm quite pleased with how this weathering turned out. It's this muddy uh, wash that I used and the Vallejo wash. And then I go back through and I add some more dust on top of that. And it starts to really get that 
you know, muddy, uh, worn look that uh, I don't know what would have happened if I, uh, you know, I think I might do it on a test piece, use some of that steel wool. But in the end, I was actually quite pleased at how this thing ended up turning out, this visor. I can still see through it. I don't know if the steel wool would have done that, but it looks super, super grimy. And now we have everything in it. The fans, the padding, the visor. Still can wear this, still can see through it. That shape, I think, looks really great. <laughs> Super happy with the inside of this helmet. It's the most I've ever done inside a helmet. And that is what you have to do when you are working on something like this. You're working on a project. Things are going to go wrong. Uh, the visor was too small. I peeled off that, you know, the protective glare material or the protective material and it look too shiny. Uh, so you've got to roll with it and you've got to just sort of have fun with your projects. You know, we are doing this to have fun. So it didn't fit. I cut a little shape. I made it part of the design. There's a bunch of different ways you could have gone with that. You could have just left it flat. Um, but again, don't get so caught up in how it's supposed to be and let it be what it's going to be, what it becomes when you're done with it. This was a really fun series. I love this helmet. I got to do a lot of different things with it from the padding system to the fans. Uh, it is the first Mando helmet I've done, which is unusual since Mandalorian has been exploding everywhere and they're so popular. Uh, but this, uh, I really had a great time with it. Again, if you're looking to pick one of these helmets up in its raw form and follow along and do something like this or put your own spin on it, for God's sakes, head over to Villainous Prop Shops, links below. Guys, thanks a lot. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.